we pour a glass? Can we actually have a glass now? Can we? That's what it's for. Last up, a married couple, Helen and Mark Chapman. Our business is a family business at Essence. Um, we work from home, the kids are around us all the time, um, and they love the products that we sell. So, yeah, we're just hoping the dragons love them too. Well, aren't they cute? Yeah, aren't they cute? They're baskets for toys, do you think? Helen and Mark have one potential investor firmly in their sights. I think the dragon that can really come on board and drive us forward is Tuka. So can the entrepreneurs seal their perfect deal in the den? Hi, dragons. My name's Helen, and this is my husband, Mark. And we're here today to ask for £60,000 in exchange for 20% of our business. Belly Bambino is a multi-award winning brand of seagrass belly baskets designed for kids. I'm sure you'd all agree that kids can be a little bit messy and untidy. And as a stay-at-home mum of three young children drowning in the never-ending chaos of their toys, I wanted to create practical but fun toy storage. Our belly baskets are handmade from seagrass, making them a natural and sustainable choice for families. The designs and textures of our baskets also add a sensory experience for the children. So imagine when we started, when she said to me, do you think I could sell a few baskets to make a few extra pounds? Roll forward just a few months and our kitchen was filled with baskets as we frantically painted them because she sold almost £6,000 worth. The majority of sales to date have been direct to customer, but we're now stocked by major retailers, including Jojo Mum and Baby, Kidley, which is part of ASOS, and Scandiborn. The only limiting factor to the growth of Belly Bambino is in-house production. So we've been working hard to outsource production, which is almost complete. Uh, we've got some products in the boxes for you, so if you'd like to take a look and any questions, we'd be really excited to answer that for you. Seagrass storage baskets in a range of child-focused designs are the offering from Helen and Mark Chapman. So you just pull the handles from the inside and they pop out. The couple are seeking £60,000 in return for a 20% share in their business. Lions are my favourite animal and I'm so glad you gave me that. Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> kind of represents my personality as well. He might be the den's king of the social media jungle, but Stephen Bartlett isn't the only one on the hunt for a good deal. It's Peter Jones who's first with the questions. Hi, Helen Mark. Hello. Hi. I've got a jellyfish, cause, and I think that's good. I've got a sting in my tail. <laughs> Is that what a jellyfish does? Uh, some of them. <laughs> um, successful ones. Yeah. Where do you get these? You said you make them. So we, we get the actual base basket imported from Vietnam. Yeah. And then we add all the designs. Um, ourselves in a house. Yeah, so this is the bit that you put on to yeah. a bit of colour. Yeah, and yeah, so embroidery, a little okay. bit of dyes. And is this a full-time job for you, Helen, and a side hustles type of thing for you? M yes, that's Mark? pretty much it. Yeah, I support Helen in anything she needs. Helen, what's your background professionally? Um, so, um, I've do been doing Belly Bambino for the last three years. Then I was a stay-at-home mum for seven years. And you were designing these pieces? Yeah, yeah. How did, how did you learn how to do that? So, the idea came up is when I was feeding my daughter and I had a basket in her nursery, just a plain one, and because I was tired, like, the um, light was cast across the basket and it looked like ears, and I was just like, that would make a really cute dog or a cute cat. <laughs> so I just tried doing it just to have in her nursery. And then suddenly I was like, well, maybe I can sell these, what do you think? I was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's really funny that you thought she was a basket case. <laughs> oh, I did. I was like, yeah, so was, could I make someone else? I was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I know. And then we were, he was painting tigers until your tired, midnight. Your tired hallucination yeah, turned into, exactly, a, into yeah. a really <laughs> yeah. cool business. I think it's amazing, it's beautiful. Oh, thank Absolutely you. beautiful. Praise for Helen and Mark's products from Stephen Bartlett. But Peter Jones is less interested in art and design than simple mathematics. So, what have the sales been this year, just focusing on this year? So, so far, far, to date, £117,000 to date. And just so that I can see the growth, what did you do the full year the year before? Uh, the year before, we did a short year of 
So that was 82,000 turnover in 10 months, but that would have been 100,000 pounds in 12 months. And can you remember the gross profit in that year? And it was 48,000 gross profit, and net was 26% at 22,000. And then so far this year, gross profit? Uh, approximately 60. And at the moment, do you know what you're tracking net profit year to date? It will be around 26. So what's the plans over the next 12 months? What, what is it that's going to make this business get to four, five, six hundred thousand in turnover? It's the scale up. The, the limiting factor has been internal production. So the maximum number of baskets we can make in a month is around 500. So we've been working for about a year to find outsourced production. Hell the mark. So the baskets cost how much? Uh, the, the large baskets about three pound fifty, including That's from tax Vietnam. Landed. Yeah, here. And what does it cost you to add on the extra? Process. The most expensive to make is the yellow lion. Yeah. Uh, that's seventeen pounds and to make. Yeah, seventeen pounds, fifteen pence, but including the. But surely, including. surely, if you want this to be commercial, surely the idea is to get your Vietnamese factory to finish them locally. Yes. And that would be it. We have. We've got. That's what we've got now. We've got a Thai a Thai factory that's going to produce the complete and finished. Oh, you basket. have. And, yeah. and, and what saving have you made? It's down to eleven pound dropped in the UK. Right, so that, that, that so you, you're in the right direction. Yes. Um, you mentioned you sold some to Jojo. Yes. Uh, Mama Baby. And how many did you sell? I think it's about 300 so far. All right. And when was that delivered? January and February. And have they come back to you for any yes. more? Yeah, they've done two orders. How many orders are you actually in your possession that you've got to deliver? Probably about 40 orders. Yeah, so yeah. it is a small business. Mark and Helen's order book is no page turner, for Tuka Suleiman at least. And now Stephen Bartlett wants to establish how the pair intend to boost their business's profile. Helen, Mark, um, what would your marketing strategy be going forward to scale this business? Well, for me, uh, a digital marketing campaign aimed at mothers, uh, baby showers, and basically grandparents for, for new young children. And also, uh, we're going to characterise the animal designs, uh, give them a, a, bring them to life, stories, uh, a video as part of the marketing, but it also gives you greater protection for many more years. You get up to 70 years copyright then. How big can this business get? Because I want to get ex you know, really yeah. excited by the, the... So my vision for the business going forward is that it's um, an international, well-loved kids' brand, um, but with nursery decor at its core. And in this little picture here of this yes. bedroom, there's lots of um, similar looking products on the walls and some carpets. Are those your products? No, they're not, but they're okay. the kind of products we'd have, just so that people can create that perfect, beautiful nursery for their children. Have you considered having a conversation with Stacey Solomon? Yeah, I did message her ages ago to see if she wanted some baskets. Um, she didn't reply. And then a couple of months later, I found out it was in the book. So she'd obviously seen them or had them, or you know, she said that we were one of her favourite brands. Um, I. I think it's really, I think it's really cool, and I can understand why Stacy loves it. When I think about it from an investment standpoint, personally, um, the only thing missing is my excitement. Now that might be for a couple of reasons. I've never really um, done up a home before. I don't have children, so I'm not. I wouldn't be a customer of the uh, of the product either, um, and I can't see the the bigger vision for this outside of these baskets here in front of me. So I'm going to say that I'm out, but I wish you the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Disappointment for Helen and Mark, who've gained endorsement from a top tidy upper, but lost their first dragon. Serial investor Deborah Meaden is used to cleaning up, but is she prepared to add this business to her extensive portfolio? I, I commend you. I think you've created something lovely. It looks really nice. Could totally get why people would um, would rather have this and those plastic boxes in their, you know, in in their bedrooms. People want even their kids' rooms to look lovely. You know, yeah. if you've got a lovely house, mm -hmm. you you want to walk in and feel that it looks lovely too. I totally get it. Um, but do I think it's a big enough business for me to get really excited, put my money in and think, oh, we're going to be millionaires in a few years' time? Honestly, no. 
So I won't be investing, I'm afraid. I'm out. Helen, Mark, I think you've built a cracking business and I think you are doing all of the right things. And I think you can grow your business from where it is to maybe double the size that it is. But I think you want to take a good look at what is great about this business, why does this business work for us, and what do we want to achieve from it? And I'm, I think if you give that a long, hard look, I'm not sure what investment is really what you want from this. So I'm not going to invest for your sake as much as mine, <laughs> and I'm out. Okay. But well done. Helen, Mark, um, what you have is I would honestly say is the perfect business that sits well with your current situation. And I think you're going to sell a lot of product, but I'm not sure, I don't think you need investment. Because what I would want to do, I'd want to come in and I'd want you to do a complete range. That might be exactly what you want, mm. but because you're where you are, you're going to need much more of me and my people and my help to do that. And that would mean that I would require a much higher level of equity. So for that reason, I'm out, but well done. Plenty of kind words, but no offers of cash. And four dragons have now bowed out. Only Tuka Suleiman is yet to declare his position. He was Helen and Mark's most wanted, but have the couple done enough to snare him? Helen and Mark, I think you've come up with something, but you're not quite there. And in a way, I'm sitting on the fence thinking, it can only get so big the way you are now. That's why we really love a dragon to be able to help yeah, but us it, take you us know, there. You know, the funny thing is, you might do two, three, four hundred grand, but if you want to do millions, like I would want, I think yeah, it needs a lot. Doesn't look refined enough doesn't look coordinated enough. It needs to be finished a lot better. Together, we could make it amazing. With your input, what we've done so far, with our enthusiasm, and I just, I don't know, I just think we can grow it, and I think, I think we make a great team. He's a king in the baby business, I, I know. know, that's what, you were the one, you were the one that we... And king of the jungle meets king of the baby business. Yep, we can do it. I'll tell you what I'll do. Ooh. I'm going to give you all of the money, but I want 40 per cent. Done. <laughs> what? Hang so on. we're supposed to talk to the wall, I go. Supposed to talk to the wall. No, he's busy. Can I just Probably hold you one second? To Helen, to the be most fair. important thing Sorry. is that this this is not your business, and Sorry, you just made a like decision. Yes, it isn't. So Helen, you need to decide. I know. Shall we talk to the wall? Shall we talk to the wall? Talk to each other. <laughs> An offer for Helen and Mark, albeit for double the equity they were originally looking to give away. <laughs> Mark was eager to accept, but will Tuka Suleiman's terms prove equally palatable to Helen? Yes, I would love to accept your offer. Great! Yay! Looking forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you very much. Well done. Success for the basket entrepreneurs who depart the den with £60,000 having bagged the dragon of their dreams. Tuka was the dragon we really hoped would invest. And when he was on the fence, we knew that that was the time that I really had to try and persuade him. Tuka, that was the best deal they could ever have dreamed of getting. Well, I know, I know. Um, it's been amazing. And yeah, if it, yeah, if we're feeling good, feeling really good.